stone structures like um, Gebetla Tepe, how did they get the stone structures? Or how did they get the physical stones that weigh maybe 80, 100 tons yeah. in place? And why did they do them? Okay, excellent question. Have you heard of Coral Castle? Because that's dealing with Edmund... Um, I can't remember his surname, but I'm sure there are brothers in the chat that will, will pull him up. But um, Coral Castle is one of those things that was built like that, just like the pyramids that, you know, in, in Giza and Egypt, where people are still baffled. How did they carry these big stones and how did they move them and what were they for? So that relates to your question. So our, our ancestors, the ancient ones, had technology and abilities whereby they were able to use things like levitation, right? Levitation is the ability to move things and um, move them to a position. Um, also, they had technology which is now re-emerging called 3D printing. So, you know, three, even like um, the guy that's building the robots, don't want to give him too much, do you know what I mean, publicity, but the guy that's, you all know who I'm talking about, he's doing that now with houses where you're building a house and then dismantling it and taking it to the location and just putting it together. So um, our ancient ones, the people with this technology and with the knowledge, they were able to levitate and move huge structures and put them where they wanted them to go. Um, and when I say our ancestors, this is going back to extraterrestrials, okay, um, who then directed and the, um, the people that were initiated and knew the secrets because the pyramids were used for several things but one of them was for teaching and teaching this information that we're talking about such as levitation okay um, alchemy and certain things that people find they say is magic today but it's really just knowing the science so those that were initiated and knew the secrets were guided by our ancestors that people refer to as extraterrestrials and they help them to design and plan and build these structures which you can find all over the world because these schools these mystery schools um, although Egypt was the center and a lot of people went to Egypt to study this is why in your religious books they tell you that you know Moses was in Egypt Abraham was in Egypt Jesus went to Egypt everybody seems to be going to Egypt because they were going there to study and learn, and they were taught these sciences, even according to their stories. So, but we, we know that um, they were built for specific purposes, and some of it was to balance out the planet, because when we speak about this planet now, most people don't know the, the history of the planet itself, because the planet as it is now is a lot smaller than what it was before. It used to be three to four times bigger than what it is today. Um, and that's partly due to the, the meteorite showers, due to the crash of Nibiru. Um, you know, there were many things that took place where the planet got smaller because it broke off and then they had to kind of mold it, rebuild it and terraform it. And then, um, you know, I mean, keep it in its orbit and everything like that that is today. But I hope that's answered your question. So it was really levitation the science of 3D printing and assistance from extraterrestrials with higher technology guiding us, their prodigy or their, their um, offspring to also assist, all right?